Hey guys, Astro Prime here and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are back in the post game and we will be uh, attempting to catch the three spirits today. So I do hope we are going to be able to catch all three of them on one episode. Um, so we're not going to waste any time. We are going to bounce. Oh, there's a Shallows and oh man, why do all these hordes happen at this timing? Ah well, but it's okay. Uh, we are going to attempt to catch all three of them by uh, for this episode. So yeah, we're going to be hopping over to... I forgot even what this first leg is. Very was it? I could never remember which lake belongs where, frankly speaking. Yeah. Maybe if I put in some effort, I might remember, but... Nah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, let's just jet over to the lake. Oops. Alright. Alright, so we're almost there. Yeah, so I am a bit concerned about how the fight is gonna go. Because... Like I said, Generation 4 was one of my all-time favorite series, but I've only ever played it once. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm the most familiar when it comes to, like, the Generation 4 stuff. I know that we had to, I mean, I know we played BDSP, so technically that was our second time playing Generation 4. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Ah. Oh boy. There we go. Alright, so, oh shit. Wait, really? Hold on, let's save first. I guess I don't I don't get a chance to chuck a ball directly at it, right? Yeah, I don't. Oh well. Uh he is psychic type though. So we probably want to send out someone that is strong against psychic, which at this point in time Oh come on, what am I doing? Might be Zoroark. Might be. Level 70, yo! Have a chill pill. God damn. We'll go for the stab. We might do a double hit, but we see whether we can survive the hits even. Hmm, or we could just go for. Yeah, no, let's just. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a bit concerned that it might kill him still, so let's be careful. Oh, there we go. That was a bit dangerous. Okay, so how risky do we want to be? I don't think Swift is going to kill it. But I wouldn't, I'm not willing to risk it. So we are going to start chucking balls at it. We only got 28 Ultra Balls though. Let's see how this goes. We might have to swap things out. Oh, that's a triple shake. That's not good. Hmm. What? Well, that actually works in our favor, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. Don't crit. Nice. And I like that it's a remix of the um the original music too. But it, it feels a lot more chill. It's kind of like Dialga and Palkia's normal form remix. It's like a lot more slow paced and chill. Wow. Okay, the next time we go, we hit it. Oh, we might kill it though. Very risky, guys. Very risky. I'm not confident about this, but... What the crit? No! <laughs> okay, now I wonder. What happens? Oh. You must catch the Pokemon to battle once more. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is pretty cool because the game doesn't allow you to fail this mission. By all definition, they want you to kill it. Uh, I mean, they want you to catch it. So, you can't actually fail this mission. Which is kind of good. I mean, it's good for us, but... Hmm. But this is an endurance round, though. Ooh, this is hard. I need to try and land that false swipe, but if he starts recovering, that's not going to help us at all, so... Wow, that barely did shit. Uh-oh. If it's a psychic, we'll pop. Oh, there we go. Hi. Ah, oh boy. The defense goes up. And it recovers. Oh, joy. This is a nightmare and a half. Hmm. 
Not sure whether this might kill it though. Let's see. Wait, seriously? Oh, come on. This is getting out of hand. Yeah, yeah. We know. We know. I gotta catch the bugger. Oh my god. We need a different strategy, man. Okay, let's see if this... I mean, the problem is the recover. Okay, I mean, I'm using a Jow style because it's weaker. At this point, I cannot afford to let it hit too hard. Okay, this is actually somewhat good. Okay, so if a Jow style did that kind of damage, we can actually afford to use strong style, but no, that turn, that ruins our turn order. We'll use normal then. It should... What the... Whoa! Oh, that crit gave me a heart fit. Oh, come on. Be reasonable. Wow, this is unreasonable, man. Ay, ay, ay. Nah, oh, come on. Okay, this has to stop at some point. Like... Oh boy. We have a double hit soon. Okay, if we can lower him to a good position, we might be able to start... doing something about this. Honestly, there's nothing more I can do. I, can, I have to chuck the ball. I hope for the best. Okay, so, uh, so that hope of having all three Pokemon by today... Oh wait, we got it! Yeah, so, okay, so not too bad. For a first try. Um, but now I'm not so confident that we'll get all three by this episode. We'll see how it goes. There are two more League Pokemon left to be caught. Okay, great. So that's the one done. Not gonna lie. I actually like that this is what they did. And and this is probably another reason why I like this style of Pokemon compared to the main, mainstream style. In the mainstream style, you had to save your game. You had to... You know, if you fail the attempt, you have to restart. It's all sorts of bad things and tediums. I don't like it. But whereas in this game, they make it very clear to you, they want you to catch every single Pokemon and they give you the ability to do so. So instead of just trading for Pokemon, you can actually get items like Link Cable and that's going to evolve your Gengars and um, Alakazams. So they no longer lock you into certain ways of playing um, that you know requires you to have a friend or to trade and things like this, which is not always something that's accessible to every single person. So the truth of the matter is that this game makes it clear. They want you to complete the Pokedex and they make it so that you can realistically complete the Pokedex. There's no such thing as, oh, you missed out your legendary, that's it. You got no more. You're not going to you're not gonna complete your Pokedex from now on. GG. Yeah, so there's no such thing like that, which is something I really appreciate a lot. And another, like, one of the main reasons why I really feel that this game needs to stay. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's a good system. Alright, so we're done with one. Let's head over to the next one, which is... Uh, I forgot. Was this Yuxi? Whatever, we should... I mean, it's gonna be the same strategy. Um, They're all psychic types anyway, if I'm not wrong. So it's gonna be the same strategy for... All the fights. There are side quests lying around though. Wow. <coughs> Sorry, breviary noises. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Sorry, I forgot. Bad breviary noises. Alright. Should we save? Yes, we should. I mean, not that we need to, but just in case we actually truck through all our Pokemon. <laughs> entirely doable, guys. Entirely doable. Alright, here we are. Back in the cave. Ah. Oh, that's a Zelf. Is it? Or is it Yuxi? Yeah, I think it's a Zelf. Alright. Okay, as long as it doesn't have, they don't have Recover, I can work with it. Whoa, 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 calm down. Oh, 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 oh. Eh. Well, very cool. Alright, it's caught. Nice. 
Oh, and another thing, if it's not obvious enough by now, because the game's objective is to capture all Pokemon, uh, the catch rates on Pokemon, especially when you have an Ultra Ball, is significantly easier. Um, some may say that this is a cancer thing, but for a person like me who is not the biggest fan of RNG, I I'm, I'm all for it, man, guys. I'm so happy. I mean, I I'm definitely pleased that the catch rates aren't like shit. If you guys want to know what is shit, you all, uh, take a look at our uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl playthrough uh, when I was attempting to catch the Alga. Now that, that was shit. I was lit I literally resorted to quoting scriptures just for luck. So yeah, um, yeah, I never want to go through that shit again, man. <laughs> Alright, so we got a Zelf. We're gonna need to use it every once in a while so that we can get the Pokedex entry, but we can do it another time. Let's focus on just securing all three of them first. I mean, we are making good time though. We might actually even be able to squeeze in one more, one more like quest. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, one last one. All right, more mess outbreaks. Ooh, this is very tempting. No, no, let's not get distracted. Uh, I speak. Yeah. I mean. Overquill looks like a really cool Pokemon. I mean, design-wise, I'm not a big fan of, but type typing-wise, Poison and... Uh, wait, was it Poison Water? Or was it Poison Duck? Yeah, Poison Duck is a really cool typing. I really quite like Poison Duck typings, but the, unfortunately, the options that we have is freaking Skunk Tank. And we all know how I feel about that, so... Nah. Oh man, I love the water texture in this game, though. It is very good. Very good indeed. Do 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 Oops. Oh, it's a chimeco. All right. Last little muppet. All right. Let's see first. All right. Let's do this. Let's hope this one goes well too. Last one is Yuxi, I think. Wow. Ah. Helmet hit. Kyo. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a very awkward. Uh, life. Eighty, seventy, but re not very effective. Swift is hitting for sixty. We might be able to hit a swift in. No step, especially. So, oh no, there's a step. We're normal. No, wait. Okay, yeah, there's, there's a step on it because normal type. Assuming step is in this game. Ah, it's triple shake. Oh wait, we got it on a triple shake. Nice. Lit. All right, there we go. All three of these little muppets are caught, and we got ourselves a Draco. Wait, what? Okay, so we got ourselves a Draco plate. All right, the plate of the lakes finished. Nice pies. Based on Kogita's hints, there seems to be three more plates left for us to find. Very, very cool. Alright, so that's actually the three spirits done and we actually completed it in pretty good timing. Now, um, do we have time for... Hmm. Oh, come on. I wanted to leave. Ah, crap. I mean, it's a rufflet. Now, let's get out of here first. What the? Oh, hello? Wait a minute, I want to deal with this one. I need Kadabra to... Uh, I think Pokédex entry if I remembered. Hmm. Dangerous. There we go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What? We are 14 levels above him and somehow a non-super effective move can still... Hit us for a buttload and a half. I don't understand this game sometimes. 
I mean, I'm not fully complaining about it because it's actually fun that, you know, like I said before, it's nice that the wild Pokemon is actually, like, eating us. I don't mind that, frankly. Aw, oh, it's triple shade. Crap. Now, I'm quite sure you can fit into a great ball. Pew, pew, pew. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll try one more Great Ball. If not, then we just chuck our trouble. I don't feel like wasting our trouble on a Kadabra, though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but I need it so that I can get the um, Pokedex entry. Uh, I, I need a Kadabra so I can start, you know, doing the research tasks. I already have one before, but I don't know where it went. Oh, rough flirt. I want to go home. And there we go. Alright, good. Alright, here we are. Let's turn it in first. Care to report all your findings? Yes. Alright. Nice. Big progress. Okay, so I got an idea. Since we completed this earlier, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend the rest of the episode cover uh oh nice, Kadara's completed. Great. Just in time too. Yeah, we're gonna spend the rest of the episode uh completing some random side quests that I've already prepared to complete. Um so for those of you who only care about the legendary, I I would dare say you can safely skip now uh, to the next episode if it's uploaded. Uh because yeah, I, I will only be covering the side quest at this point. So we're gonna be saving the next legendary. So for those of you who are heading off to the next episode, hope you guys enjoyed this very short one and I hope to see you guys in the next one. For those of you who are hanging around with the side quest, let's keep going. So as I said, I've prepared quite a bit of side quests for completion, so I'm quite excited for them actually. I was kind of compiling it all so that we can do it in one episode, but I've decided to, you know, eh, since we have time. Alright, first order of business, this one. So this is the photography dude, and he wanted us to go and take a picture of a dust skull. I did keep a dust skull lying around, so we can actually hop in here. Oh, by the way, I tried the photo studio thing, it's, eh, it's meh, it's alright. Uh, about the request you had, then I have the Pokemon you wanted. Here, have a Dust Skull that is suddenly missing. That is. Here you go. Enjoy. What a hair raising spectacle. Yes, I'm certain this is a Pokemon from the photo. Well, now that I've seen such a clear example of the real thing, I'd like to get a proper shot. You know, I must admit, I feel quite relieved to know that it truly was just a Pokemon in the end. And a Pokemon with, with its own sort of charm, really. I'm glad I was able to photograph it. Nice! So, that's that done. Now, we have a couple more that is so ready for re completing. So, uh, oh, did I finish Octillery though? Shit, I forgot whether I finished Octillery. Let's check out. I know I finished my choke, but I don't think I finished Octillery. I know I was working on it, but whether I finished it or not, I need to double check. Oh, I did! Nice! Okay! Yeah, like I said, I did try to complete a lot of these quests while leveling up. So, we're trying to do two things, a few things at one time. Alright, let's go turn in Artillery's Ink. I don't even remember who, which Muppet gave this to us. Oh, there she is. Hello! Oh yeah, she wanted to use Artillery's Ink for some pickles. I remembered. What you have learned. Oh my, so that's how it is. Wait, hold on, are you quite sure? Goodness, to think that Remory evolves into Octillery despite them looking nothing alike. Yeah, I've always questioned that. But more importantly, it seems Octillery isn't poisonous, so its ink must be safe to eat and all. Oh, I can't wait to gather up some ink and try creating lots of innovative new recipes. Once my new pickles are well and truly perfected, pop by pop by for a taste, won't you dear? I'm not sure if I... Pickles is already something I don't intend to eat, and then now you're adding Octillery ink onto it. I... Yeah, I'm putting myself and like a mouth... <laughs> Between me and this goddamn shop, man. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we can do the Machoke one as well. But if I remember, Machoke's quest is actually outside. So we gotta head to the coastlands to uh, grab the Machoke dude. So as a refresher for those who forgot or for those who did hang around with us for the episode, we met this dude who was looking at an alpha Machoke. And he wanted... Oh. What the hell? Oh boy. Festival attended by everyone in this clan in the clans and team Gal and galaxy team alike. Oh it's wonderful. Being able to spend time with Iskan in front of everyone uh, was like a dream come true. Astro Prime, Lena, ah I'm sorry, Polina. Here is something she wants to discuss with you. That's right, you should also hear this Arida. It seems something is once again uh, very much amazed in Fire Spit Island. Ooh, Fire Spit Island. 
Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. It's just very hot there. My, you speak in such disparaging terms of the seat of my lord Arcanine calls home, and to think you call yourself our leader, you reader. No, no, Lina, I didn't. Oh, stop with that silly old nickname in front of your others, won't you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything like it. It's just an old habit. Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get to the fi uh, get to Fire Spit Island so that we can resolve this. Truly, please hurry. I might melt out there. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I didn't know that there was a uh, main quest. I guess I'll pr I'll have to put like a little marker to kind of get everyone here just for this bit. Okay, but yeah. So we're we're not gonna do the Fire Spit Island. So yeah, we're still gonna just continue uh on for the side quest so those of you who are only interested in the legendaries yeah you can end the video now unless i run into another story <laughs> <laughs> all right so those are a bunch of all the machokes that i was dealing with and this is the dude that is like suspiciously looking at muscled pokemon Ugh. this can go badly did you complete machoke pokedex entry please show me so he likes ga uh, grains, huh? <laughs> he likes gains. Whoops. And he certainly has a sturdy, powerful body. It would be perfect addition to the construction course. Ah! He's gonna get boxed, I swear. Oh, yo! That's convenient. Hey, you have a, yourself a machoke. Cool. Thanks to you, I was able to catch a machoke. I guess I owe the survey call one. You really seem to enjoy the grain cake I threw at it. I promise we feed it lots of grain dish and it seems to be enough for it to help us. Macho! You know, the recent exploits of the Survey Corps are what inspired me to get help from Pokemon in the first place. Keep up the good work, you hear? Aww. That's nice and heartwarming. Very cool! Alright, there you go. So that's that done. There's a bag over there which I can collect, but eh. Alright, uh, what other side quests do we have? Pretty sure we have more. Oh wait, we can. Oh yeah, this one, Coastland. Okay, so I did find Wanda. For those of you who might be stuck on this quest, Wanda's actually right here. Uh, over here on this castaway shores, there's a bunch of offshoot islands. She's actually just sitting herself on one of it. Yeah, so I caught it. I, I or rather I found her when I was going around catching Pokemon. So yeah, yeah. So Wanda's there in case you guys are looking for her. But yeah, we can go back and actually turn in the quest to Zeke and hope Wanda doesn't wander off again. But given her track record, she's probably going to wander off to the Frostlands next. I can already see that this is like a series of quests. Oh boy, what do you want? There's more quests over here. Come with a perfect pickle recipe thanks to Geodude. Aren't you curious? Uh, not really. Oh, come now, don't be such a sport sport. Help me gather the ingredients, won't you? Two hunks of crunchy salt, two pot plum leaves, and two bunch of king's leaves. Okay, that's easy. In fact, I can do that right now. So two salt, two beans, and two king leaves. Yeah, we definitely have those, I believe. Alright, there we go. Two salt. Now the bean is green, right? Oh, there it is. Uh, two beans. I mean, two beans. And the broad leaves are the yellow leaves. That is. No, king's leaves, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Just complete it right there. I mean, I don't even like pickles. Not even sure why I'm putting in so much effort for her, but yeah. Hello! Two pots of plant beans. Yeah, let's get pickling. There you go. Hand over two chunk. Okay, we hand over everything. Lovely, I already have the sand radish I need. So let's get pickling. What? Alright. Alright, Geodude. Now for the final step, all we need to do is place Geodude on top of the pot and it's done. Really? What in the world? Oh. Grav! Gosh, Geodude changed shapes. Is that the evolution business I've heard everyone talking about? And what about the pickles? Yeah, so her graveler turned into a pick. Uh, okay, uh, essentially her graveler is just like a glorified door. Not a door stopper, like a paper wheat. Oh my, it's twice as good as I expected. I'll call it twice spice. Oh no, I think she's gonna teach us the recipe for this thingy. No limit to what I can cook. Thank you very much for helping me out. All right, nice, great, 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 great. great. Yeah, we did get the recipe for this twice spiced uh, radish thingy, and I hope I never have to do another cooking quest with her. Jesus Christ, it's Pokemon, man. I don't want to go cooking. Alright, let's scoot ourselves in here. Oh, there it is. Hello. Wanda's back. Wanda made it back home safe and sound. Really can't thank you enough. Wouldn't be wrong to ask you again. You're still as good as everyone. And the Ursaluna is amazing too. Not many can track a sand. Okay, honestly, the Ursaluna did not help me. I stumbled on her, but whatever, man. I hate Luz Ursaluna. Ever learned to live with Pokemon myself? A Pokemon like that Ursaluna would be nice. Do not ask me to catch one for you. I 
smell like oh catch me a Ursaluna. I don't know man. Alright. Let's we have time for to squeeze in one more quest to turn in, I think. Uh right, this one. Alright, there we go. So this is the hairstyle quest. So we can pass uh turn it into Arazu and she probably has new hairstyles for us. I mean I quite like my current hairstyle, it's like a real me hairstyle, just nerd side parted, but well. <laughs> The move for a style change. Now about your request. Yep, here you go. Uh yeah, there it is. I I, I panicked for a moment, I thought I gave away the mistress. There you go. You know, people are afraid of mistress because of how it apparently wails at night, but getting a good look at this really gives me some fresh perspective. Look how be it bellows and sways and flows. Cool, 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 cool. Wait, that's it, that's what I'll do. Wow, I just thought of some charming hairstyles and an enchanting new palette of colors. All thanks to you and Mr. Verse here. Come by anytime and try out my new ideas for yourself. Yeah, I mean, I like my hair. Maybe I'll check it out once in a while, but yeah. Alright, so that's all the time we have for this episode. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to try and squeeze maybe two or three legendaries again, like what we've been doing. Um, but of course, if the pacing goes well, we might squeeze all the legendaries in. I'm not sure. So yeah, uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one.